If you're in quarantine or you're just stuck at home right now because of this crazy situation we find ourselves in, then hopefully this video is gonna be really, really good, giving you some inspiration. It's a photography idea which I came up with where you can take some of the outside and bring it inside. And that's really relevant right now because none of us can go outdoors. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. So like a lot of you guys right now, I'm actually currently in quarantine and the whole of the UK is in quarantine too. So I'm not actually able to get out and do what I usually do, which is go out and take photos. And after a lot of twiddling thumbs and playing Zelda on the Nintendo Switch, I decided it was time to get creative. But the problem we're all facing is we can't go outside to actually take the photos that we usually take. So that got me to thinking, how about if I take some of the outside and bring it inside? Let me explain. I decided, why don't I actually collaborate with someone else? They've got this different environment they're in, which I'm not able to experience, and I've got the same. So why not share our environments and then see what we can come up with? So I jumped straight on Instagram and I decided to DM someone. Now this right here is Katie Louise Carter. She is a very talented performer. She is a dancer, a model, and a fire breather. There is no way I am trying fire breathing. No way. But she is seriously talented. And we've talked about doing a shoot a few times, so I thought, why not now? I mean, we've got a little bit extra time in our hands and we could probably make this work. So I sent an idea over to Katie and asked her if she'd be up for doing this. And she said she would which straight away I knew that this was the first step of the process in place. So let me show you the process, what we're actually going to do. I wanted to create a story around this project or these photos that we're going to take. And the story was of this photographer. He's an introvert. He struggles in public. And the only way that he could actually do his passion was to take photos and capture people candidly shooting them through their window. Now, of course, this is highly inappropriate and that's why it's just a story. But in this case, I wanted it to work where the photographer is taking the image through the window and actually the person that had been taking a photo of catches him looking and rather than judging his behavior as morally wrong, she just decides to pose for him. And it's this kind of quick connection that they have in the image. So for this to work, there needs to be two photos, and this is gonna be a composite. Then I'm gonna push these two photos together in Photoshop and create this image of this story, which I've just told you about. And hopefully, it's gonna be as good as I see it in my head right now. And if it's not, then don't worry, I'll still share that with you, and you can let me know if it's pretty bad. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look around my house for the best window that I can create in this image to take a photo of. Now there's gonna be a few challenges here. For instance, there's gonna be reflections and there's gonna be lighting issues. So I've gotta find the best kind of window to do the job. While I'm doing that, Katie is actually gonna be taking photos of herself, self portraits in which she's gonna try and get some poses which I sent over to her on Instagram. And while we're both working on this, the plan is that we both come up with these two really good images which I can use to create this composite together. Fingers crossed. So what I've discovered in my house is uh, I have some really dull, uninspiring windows, um, which are not really gonna add any character whatsoever to this picture, but uh, I do have a disco ball. Okay, so I've had absolutely no success um, finding a window in my house where I can actually shoot right through and it just gives it that character. No matter what lens I use, it's just the whole window and it doesn't look any good at all. So I thought it's time to think outside the box and I think I've done that. This right here is my son's playhouse. I think it's Postman Pat Playhouse or something. No, it's not Postman Pat. It's actually a Feynman Sam, a Feynman Sam Playhouse. And you can see here that these really cool looking frames now you probably think they're not cool and they don't look that cool right now, but they will 
when I actually take a picture with my camera up against it like that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create this really cool silhouetted look. And hopefully, uh, I think it's gonna create a really nice outline for the subject, in this case, Katie, to pop out of the image so that she's really bright in the background and I've got this nice dark frame to work with in the foreground with this little window. I reckon I'm gonna make it black and white as well. It's gonna create that classic look, but we'll see. But anyway, let's give it a try and fingers crossed it works. And what I'm doing as well is I'm keeping the background really light so you can actually get the frame in the image to really stand out because otherwise, um, it's going to create this really dark front, dark background, and it's going to be really difficult to cut out in Photoshop. So I'm just checking my phone right now, and I can see that Kate's actually sent over the images, which is great news. So I'm going to have a quick look through them now to make sure that they're okay and that they can be used. And what I can see here is that she's done a really good job. She's done a better job than me. Oh. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be able to use at least one of these images for the composite, which is brilliant news. Now I know that Katie's actually used a mobile phone to take these with. So it does mean that if I wanna do any editing to the picture, I'm gonna to have to be careful with that because otherwise if I edit a JPEG, a mobile phone JPEG, then uh, the quality might start to fall apart. So I've just gotta keep that in mind when I jump into Photoshop. But I'm gonna jump into Photoshop right now and I'm really excited about what I can possibly create with these two images. So let's give it a go. Okay, so are you guys ready to take a look at what we've created with this collaboration quarantine composite? It's a mouthful. Anyway guys, check it out. I've been on my spaceship counting stars since 94. Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door Looking for someone who'd be the Venus to If any of you guys watching this video actually get pretty geeked out about all the Photoshop stuff, then if you leave a comment in the comment section of the video, then I'll probably consider actually making a whole video about this process, especially if there's enough comments so I know that enough people want to watch that material. Now, you guys have got to go and check out Katie on Instagram, especially if you're on there, because she is a real talent and just an absolutely awesome down-to-earth girl. I really enjoyed doing this collaboration with her, and I'm sure we'll probably hook up on something like this again in the future. Now, here's her handle, and I'll also leave that in the description of the video. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell to watch future videos. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.